Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the exact demo presentation that you should do to close multiple figure clients for your social media marketing agency. Let's jump into it. Hey guys, my name is Suk Baines and I run a social media marketing agency here in Vancouver, BC. And on this channel, we help social media marketers make more money. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on for future videos on social media marketing. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact demonstration process that we use to sign up clients for our agency. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you the exact script that we use to close multiple figure clients for our business. So the first step before you actually hop on the call with the meeting is do all your research on the client. So find out what the Instagram account is, how are they posting, their YouTube channel and all the other social media channels that they have. And the reason is we want to gain ammunition. We, not, we need to know exactly what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong so we can put that into a proposal when we're actually talking to the client on that meeting. And if you want to know exactly how to prepare, I have, I'll attach the card in the video here and you can watch exactly and I'll show you in the video how to prepare before you even hop on the call. So before we jump into the process, I just want to go over some rules that you need to remember when hopping on a meeting with a client. So the first rule is make sure that you do not sell your client without sharing your screen and showing them exactly what they are going to get from you, right? What marketing services you're gonna provide. Make sure that you're sharing your screen and you're showing, you, showing them exactly the process that you guys are gonna be doing for them. So when they when you tell them the price at the end, they're just gonna, not gonna be confused on what they're getting. They know exactly what they're getting because you show them the process. You show them what you have done for the other clients and you simply tell them, this is exactly what I would like to build for you so they can see the value and they can see exactly what you are going to do for them so they have a clear understanding. So that's rule number one. And rule number two is never, ever, ever sell, try to sell them without doing a demo presentation because your client does not know exactly what marketing is. Um, believe it or not, marketing, there are some things that you have to tell them for them to understand the value in your service. So never sell them before the demonstration. And once we do go through the demonstration, you will understand what I'm trying to say. So make sure you remember that number two rule as well. And rule number three is always remember rule number one and two. And I'm not saying this just joking around, but I'm actually serious. This is something that you have to remember because your client is not going to understand what they're getting exactly. And if you try to explain them on the phone, like, hey, the cost per click is this, the click through rate is this, all the marketing terms that us marketers use, they're gonna get confused and a confused mind never buys. So make sure that you remember those rules, have them on a screen share and you show them exactly what they will be getting so they're not surprised when you tell them the, your, the price of your service. So make sure you always remember these rules. So now that we have the rules out of the way, let's jump into the script. I'm going to be actually saying those questions that I asked my clients. So I'm going to be asking those questions to you guys as well. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually tell you guys exactly why I asked those questions and the reason behind this question because it is really, really important that you ask the right questions to your client or else you're really not going to know what the pain points are. You're not going to know what they want. You're not going to know what they have tried. So it's going to be kind of hard for you to get them the right product and sell them in the way where you know that this thing that I'm saying is value to them. So make sure that when you are listening to me, you can write these questions down or I'll just be giving you the script. So make sure you take a lot of notes on exactly why I'm asking these questions. So when you are doing that presentation, demo presentation, you know the reason behind the question as well. So then you have a better understanding. So the main thing before you hop onto the meeting, before you call a client is get excited. You are about to change this client's life. You're about to make them more, make more money in the business and get them to that next level that they're trying to get. So you should be excited and you should be thankful that you're about to help a business. So 
uh, make sure you're confident because when you are speaking to that customer, your confidence is what's going to transfer to them. So make sure you're confident, you're clear on exactly what you're saying. So that's why it's important to rehearse the, the script at least 20 times. So make sure you're, you're, you're confident, you have clarity on exactly what to say to them and you transfer that trust over to them as you're speaking and as, as you're asking those questions. So the main thing is get confident and get excited before you hop on to that meeting. So guys, I have the script with me right here. So before we start that meeting, I do have a pre-meeting checklist. So we gotta make sure the prospect is qualified. Research has been conducted. So make sure you check the Instagram, YouTube before you hop on that meeting. You look presentable. Make sure that you're wearing, uh, if you're meeting a lawyer or you're, you're meeting a dentist or you're meeting a business person, make sure that you're dressed up somewhat professional because that is your first impression and you wanna make sure, make sure that first impression is the best one. Um, the other thing is have all your demo tabs open. I'm gonna go onto my computer and I'm gonna share my screen, I'm gonna show you exactly the tabs that we open to, um, well most of this for us is a real estate clients, but actually it's, simil it's a similar process through every client and I'll show you a few different kinds of demo presentations that we do. So make sure you have all those tabs open. And the other thing is be excited. Make sure when you hop on the call you're excited, you're not just like, um, hello, how are you? Make sure you have that energy, make sure you, that you're smiling because when I'm smiling, it's contagious. Right now, if you see me smile, you will also feel like smiling as well. It's just like, that's what smile does. So make sure that you're always smiling when you are on that call. Have high energy as well. The other thing is record your calls. Um, I'm guilty of this, I don't record all of my calls, but it's important to record your calls because when you do do that call and it doesn't close or something went wrong, you can go back to it and see, hey, what did I do wrong? What did I do, what did I do right? And what can I do to improve on those mistakes? So make sure you record your calls as well. So the first step in the meeting is when a client comes on, we kind of make a little bit of rapport. I don't like to spend five, 10 minutes just building a rapport because most of the clients are businessmen or businesswomen and they have limited time. So we wanna make sure that we get in there, build a little bit of rapport and start asking the important questions that we need to ask. So I basically just start building rapport by asking their location, how long they've been a realtor for and those questions are useful for me as well. So I just ask some of those questions to build that rapport in the beginning. You can also, you know, ask about the weather if you would like, but I would advise don't spend more to more than two to three minutes on building a report because we need to get into the important questions right away. So now that you built some kind of report, now it's time to get control of the meeting and start taking control right away. So the number one question that we ask to get control is, hey, John, why is it that you accepted this meeting with me today? Or, hey John, why is it that you booked a meeting with me today? So what this does is it puts you in control because now, because they accepted a meeting with you, even if you did a cold outreach and they said yes to this meeting, they accepted the meeting. So right, right away, they're caught off guard like, oh, like I did accept the meeting. Well, this is what I need help with. They'll start talking. And if they booked a meeting with you, then they'll start saying like, hey, um, I saw your ad and uh, I saw that you st you can get listings for my business or for example, I'm doing real estate. Um, I saw your ad and it looks like you can get me listings so I want to know exactly how you do that and all that stuff. So it gets, the, gets you the information that you want right away on exactly why they're jumping on a call with you. So after that, I like to ask a few qualifying questions. Sometimes I do miss these questions but it is important to ask this um, but we I do have a qualification form before they come to our calls. So we already asked this question, which I'm about to ask right now is, is there someone else that you would like on the call that helps you make business decisions in your business? So what we're doing is, Hey, are you the decision maker in your business? Are you the person that will can say yes or no to our service? Because we only want to talk to the person that's going to make a decision because at the end of the call, they might make an objection saying, hey, I want to talk to my wife or I need to talk to my partner before I jump into this. So make sure, so we make sure that we ask those objection handling questions 
from before we actually get into the objections. We asked them, hey, is there anyone else that you would like on the call? So now we need to start going a little bit deeper into the business and know the exact problems that they're having that got us interested in the service. So we just simply ask them, hey, what challenges are you currently facing in your business that got us, got you interested in our service? So this way we're asking them what they're dealing with, what problems they have, so we know exactly what to tell them and what to say so they feel like that our service is solving that problem and our whole presentation demo presentation will be around solving that one main problem that they have so for example if a real estate agent was like to me well the main thing that i'm not getting is listings i want to make sure that i'm doing my meeting all around how he will get more listings but if he says that hey i want more buyers then i want to do my demo presentation all around how i will get him more buyers so if they tell you, hey, the number one challenge we have is we're not getting enough customers into our business or we're not getting enough listings, whatever the case is, we want to ask them, what have you tried to fix this problem in the past? Because what we're doing is we want to know what they've tried and what worked, what didn't work. Because if they say that, hey, we already tried Facebook ads, we want to go a little bit deeper into what did they try on Facebook ads. Because some people will be like, yeah, I already tried Facebook ads, it didn't work with work for me because when we start going through a presentation we're going to show them facebook ads blah blah, blah but they're going to bring on the bring up the objection so we want to make sure that hey say for example they said they've tried facebook ads but it didn't work we want to ask go deeper why didn't it work oh well i just boosted a post so you as a marketer you know that boosted posts are not going to get the results they want so that's why facebook ads didn't work for them so this way now you have ammunition to know exactly when she does bring up the objection that Facebook ads didn't work for me in the past. You can simply say that, hey, you just boosted the post. That's the reason it didn't work. So that's why it's important to go back and know exactly what they tried and what worked, what didn't work. So you can handle those objections when they do come up in your presentation. So now we need to know exactly where they are right now in their business and where they want to go. And this is really important for us to know because we are that person, we are that vehicle from taking them to where they are right now to the side that they want to go. So we want to know where they want to go so we can have our presentation around their goals. So we ask them, hey, how, like for example, real estate agents, how many listings do you have right now? For restaurant owners, how many orders do you have per month right now? So we ask them questions, we know where they are right now. Then we ask them, hey, how many orders would you like to have per month? Or how many listings would you like to have per month? So now that we know where they are and where they want to go, now we can go a little bit deeper into exactly what will get them there and we'll do our presentation around that. So once you know exactly where they want to go, I want you to go a little bit deeper on that. So we call it seven layers of why. So when they say like, hey, I want to make more money, that's why I um, you know, contacted you, you got to ask them, hey, why do you want to make more money? And they'll probably say something like, hey, I want to make money because like everyone else. And you tell them, hey, I totally understand that everyone makes money, you know, for different reasons. What is it? Why is it important for you to make more money? So you want to go deeper and they might say something like, well, you know, I want to be financially secure. So some people will go deep right away. Some people will be on surface level, but you have to go deeper and get to the emotional level. So if they say, well, I want to make sure that I'm financially stable, then you say, hey, why is it important for you to be financially stable? Then they'll probably say like, oh, well, I have a house and I want to make sure that I pay my payments and all that stuff. And then you say, hey, why is it important for you to pay those payments and all that stuff. Well, because I have a family and I, I wanna make sure my kids have a good life. I didn't really have a good life when growing up, so I wanna make sure that I give my kids a good life and I have food on the table, blah, blah, blah. You see how it went from, hey, I just wanna make money to me taking care of my kids, which is a deeper emotional level. And with that, they'll have a stronger, um, stronger emotion on when they do see that your product or service can get them to that goal, it's not just making money, it's the goal of, of him or her actually taking care of his kids. So the seven layers of why is actually a little bit hard and intimidating, as, like, especially when you're dealing with a client that's like 
um, kind of like hard-headed and don't want to really answer a lot of questions so what I like to do is ask them a question before I start asking a lot of questions simply I say hey before we get into a presentation is it okay if I ask you some questions so we know exactly what we need to do and simply they'll be like yeah no problem so now you'll have their permission to ask them any questions so when you do ask those why 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 questions they won't get as annoyed but it's very important for you to go deep and peel those layers and get to that emotional level so once you peel back and you get to the emotional level and you ask them hey how important is it for you to reach this goal Right, you on a scale of one to ten, how important is it for you to reach this goal? So they'll tell you that, right? So we want to make sure that we have an emotional commitment from them. Like, hey, I really, really need to get from where I am right now to where I want to go. This is very important for us, and we want to get the commitment from them. So when we are doing our presentation, they, they're in their mind. You are the vehicle that's going to take them from this to that goal of the emotional level of either taking care of the kids, taking care of the family, being financially stable. So after I get them emotional and get them into that, I start doing the demo presentation and I start showing them the vehicle, me being the person as the marketer and exactly what I do to get them from that level to the goal that they just told us about and why they wanted that goal and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show them exactly how to get there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop on my computer and I'm gonna share my screen I'm gonna show you exactly how I take them through the demo presentation, what tabs I show, some of the questions that I ask them, what I show, what I don't show, basically the whole process that I use to sign up my clients. So let's hop on, onto the computer and we'll come back here after. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you exactly how I walk my clients through, what tabs I show them, what do I say, what don't I say, and the whole thing right now. So um, right here, so first of all, like I said, do your research on the client. So this is, for example, I'm gonna take this one as my client. This is a real estate agent. We mostly specialize real estate agents, so I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it for real estate agents. So over here, this is a real estate agent that if we would like to sign up, I would have his profile open and then I would simply tell him like, hey, um, I see that you have your Instagram profile here. Um, you know what, you have an awesome profile picture so you wanna compliment them a little bit and tell them what they're doing good. So then when you do say some of the stuff that they should improve on, it's not offending to him. So you say something like, hey, your profile picture is awesome. You have one post here, like this is a really good post to start off with. But what I would advise you guys to start doing is start putting more posts and start putting more stuff around real estate. So when people do come to your profile, when you start doing the advertisements on Instagram and Facebook, when they do come to your profile, they can see that you're a professional realtor, just like how we have over here. So we also show them a competitor as well, because we want them to feel like they're being left behind, that there's this competition that's beating them right now. So it kind of gives them the feeling of like, hey, I want to be like this person. So we, t we show them like a little bit like we tell them like, hey, you should have your real, your real estate profile a little bit like this realtor right here. You can see wherever he is going, he's taking pictures when his house is sold. Um, he has pictures with his clients like this, right? So I want you to start posting more pictures like this. So now what that's doing is it's telling the, it's making the client feel like they're not doing enough and they should be doing more and they feel like you can help them get to where this person is right here. And then you tell them like, it, you can see these pictures and you can see that even though he has 110 followers, you know, he's getting a lot of content and all that stuff. Plus he is running ads on his Instagram account. You can see here that we, that he is actually running these ads. You can see he's running ads for what is your property worth, home valuation ads. So this is something that you should do as well to reach a, reach a bigger audience. So what we're doing is we're telling them, hey, okay, this client is also doing these things, meaning like, hey, if this client is doing it, that means that he's getting results and he's actually advertising and making money rather than you doing nothing online and simply not getting the results that you should be from your social media. So we're doing that comparison and we're telling them the comparison so they feel like they should also do this because it is getting the realtor results and it is reaching a bigger audience. So now what we wanna do is we want to show them that, hey, 
we know what we're talking about and we know exactly how to do this stuff so what we're gonna do is just walk them through an example campaign on what we would like to build for them and by the end of it they'll be like oh damn like he's doing all this stuff for me so look i'm gonna walk you through exactly what what i would be saying to the client so i would tell the client like hey mr client i'm here on in the back end of facebook manager so you can see here business.facebook.com so what we're gonna do is make an example ad and show you exactly what we would be building for you so first of all mr client you said you are in vancouver british columbia yes yes i'm in vancouver british columbia so we type in vancouver and we tell them like, okay, so is this the area that you would like to service or is this the area that you would like your ad to show? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the area that it looks like you're getting all of it. Cool, Mr. Customer. So what we're doing here, Mr. Customer, is that we're telling Facebook, hey, Facebook, we want you to show our ad in this area right here. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? Yes, it does. So what we're doing here for you guys is that we're just telling them like, hey, we have the opportunity to advertise exactly where your business location is. If you want to target a specific city, we can do that. If you want to target a state, we can do that. If you want to target a zip code, we can do that. If you want to target a country, we can do that. What we're telling is we're telling them that, hey, we have the expertise to do that. And then we can be like, well, Mr. Customer, what age group is usually most of your customers that pay you the most? Well, in my business, most of the customers are around the 20 to 65 or 20 to 40 range. So over here, this is in the real estate category. So I can't, I can't choose those age groups, but for, for some industries like e-commerce or whatever, as long as it's not real estate, then you can choose the age. But okay, well, 20 to 40, well, Mr. Customer over here, we can click 20 and then we can click 40 and then our ads will only be showing to people that are in the ages of 20 to 40. Awesome. So Mr. Customer, what are your clients interested in? I mean, when they're buying a house, they're interested in mortgage calculators and stuff like that. They're trying to get pre-qualified. So most of the interest is around there. Oh, okay, Mr. Customer. So did you know that we can type those things in right here in, in Facebook and Facebook will automatically do all the work and target those customers? See what we're doing here, guys? We're just getting them excited and we're telling them, hey, we have all these things that we can do to get your ads in front of the right people. For example, if it's a business owner that is selling dog toys, right? For example, just an example, so they're selling dog toys. So, hey, Mr. Kashmir, did you know that all we have to do is type in dog and we can target people that are in... Actually, let me, let me actually... I'm going to cut this video. Let me go into back into not housing category. So... Actually, let's just do that right now. Let's be quick. So basically now, again, the, the age groups are here because I didn't, I cut out the housing category. So Mr. Customer, we can target people from age 20 to 40, and then we can target people that are dog owners. So let's type in dog owner. Let's see what comes up here. See this? So small, so dog owners or dog trainers we can target, or you can just simply type in dogs. So people that are interested in dogs, those are the only people that we, our ads will be seen to. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? So what you're doing is you're just getting them excited, telling them all the features that Facebook has and all the things that we can use to target their ideal client. So once I show them all this, then I tell them like, hey, okay, Mr. Customer, so now that we have the exact person that we need to buy from us, they're from Vancouver, they're ages 20 to 40, and they're interested in dogs, we can also go either gender as well, either women or men, whichever one you want best. You want all? Okay, no problem. We can do all as well. So we're targeting people in Vancouver for ages 20 to 40 that are male and female, plus they are interested in dogs. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? Yes, it is. So now, Mr. Customer, that we have the right audience, we got to show the right message to them. So now this is where we start showing them the ad. So now we tell them the process that happens after they click that ad. So we want to make sure that we show them exactly how do we convert these clicks into customers. So over here, we, for example, in the real estate niche, and I'll show you some e-commerce and other industries as well. So in the e-commerce niche, I simply tell the customer, like, hey, customer, so when that click, when they click that button, um, send message button here, or click, they click that learn more button, then they come on to a bot that automatically qualifies the leads for you so you're only getting qualified leads so we ask them questions first of all we ask them like hey what is your street address so one two three main street so i actually preview all this for him 
so one two three main street so i just preview the whole bot so they know exactly what's happening what city vancouver and then i tell like hey mr customer i know that you only want qualified leads and over here we ask them a question like hey how soon are you looking to sell your property and mr customer we know the people that say one to three months or now those are the best customers would you agree oh yes yes for sure those are really good customers for sure mr customer then we after we get the information we ask them like hey what is your email address so we start collecting the information we collect the phone number and then at the end, we just confirm, hey, is all this information correct? And then when we press yes, then you get an email and a text reminder. Is that pretty good for you, Mr. Customer? Oh, yes, yes, that's awesome. This is awesome. This is so good. Blah, blah, blah. You see what we're doing here? We're taking them through a process. We're showing them exactly what we'll be doing for them. So they have a good understanding of what they're paying for. There's more value created when you show them exactly what you will build for them instead of just telling them what you would build for them. So make sure you guys walk them through the process just like how I am over here. And then when you show them the process, ask them, hey, Mr. Customers, do you think that this something like this could work for you? Yeah, for sure. It looks like something this can work for you. Awesome, Mr. Customer. Let's say 50 leads came out of here. How many leads do you think you can close? So what we're doing is we're getting a buy in from them. We're trying to make them feel like when we see the price, that price is nothing because we're going to actually tell them the value. We're going to kind of show them the value of this service right now. So we ask them, hey, Mr. Customer, if you got 50 people came through the system, how many do you think you can close into a listing? And some people have a little bit of ego and be like oh man uh like if you if you get me 50 i could probably close all 50 right they'll probably say something like, like awesome mr customers so this is why it's important to have your have their goals in mind in the beginning because they probably told you how many listings they want they probably told you how much money they want to make so you have that in mind and you tell them like hey mr customer if i got you 50 leads through this bot do you think that we have a good chance of hitting that goal of whatever it was so like four or five listings oh yeah for sure if you give me 50 like that came through this bot i will definitely get four or five and hit my goal awesome mr customer so you see what we're doing here it's all matching together and it's all coming together because we asked the right questions now we can have our presentation around those answers because we know exactly what they want and then we tell them that this is what we will give you around what they want kind of confusing but it's pretty simple once you guys start doing this so once you tell them that, hey, hey Mr. Customer, um, is 50 leads enough for you? Or how many do you think you can close out of 50? Oh, okay, so you'll probably get 45 listing. Oh yeah, I'll get 45 listing. How much does that equal out to you? Oh, like four or five listing can equal up like 40, 50 thousand dollars a month. Wow, Mr. Customer, that's awesome. So we're getting a buy-in from them and I'll show you what to do with that right now. So this is a, another for another client. So for example, for e-commerce, then we just show them exactly what we'd be building for e-commerce. So I'm gonna quickly go through this. So I'll be like, hey, Mr. Customer, do you see my screen right now? Oh yes, yes, that I see your screen. So Mr. Customer, we would basically bring them to a page that like this which has no distraction whatsoever like other websites it only has one thing which is collecting the information so when they press this button get your 50 percent discount we get the name and email right away so then we can have contact with them does that make sense mr customer oh yes 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 that makes sense that's awesome for sure mr customer so then we tell them like hey we bring them to the order page and then they can check out here and we can also do an order bump here where if they press yes, then there'll be an automatic $29.97 added to the order. So we call it an order bump. Is it something that you, do you have something that you can put here as an order bump? Oh yeah, I have something. So what we're doing is we're getting buy-in from them as well. So every time I have a chance of asking them a question that gets them one step closer to me, basically saying something like, hey, do you also have products like that that we can put in here? Oh yeah, I have products like that in here. Oh, do you also have images like this that we can put in here? Oh yes, I can send you those images that you can put in there. So what we're doing is we're kind of telling them like, hey, we're already working together. And at the end, when you tell the price, they're like, oh man, this guy already knows that I have the pictures. He already seen the videos that I have, all this stuff. He already knows everything. Might as well just give it a try. So we're just getting a buy in every time we can. So we tell them like, hey, okay, awesome, Mr. Customer. So after they press that button, we take them to order bump. And simply if they press yes here, 
uh, they can buy this wall for $69 and when they go on to this page we can ask them one more time if they want to buy something a little bit better so we put this page here and after that Mr. Customer you it's just a thank you page and from here we can direct them back to your Shopify website does that make sense Mr. Customer oh yes 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 this makes perfect sense and this is awesome how do we get started you see, you want to get to a point where they are excited. They want to be like, hey, man, sign me up. Where can I sign? Where can I pay you, man? Just just let's do this. You want to get to that point. And the only way you can do that is if you show them exactly what you will be doing and you show them the value that you will be providing. You show them results that you have gotten and you show them the whole process that you'll be using to get the results. And if you show, 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 trust me, they will at the end, they'll be like, hey, where can I sign up? Where can I pay you? So a few other metrics that you can show your customer is things like reach and the link click. So for example, for reach, and I tell the customer like, hey, Mr. Customer, do you, can you see my screen right now? Yes, I can. Do you, can you read this over here? Look what it says. It says, this is the number of people that we estimate you'll reach in an audience in each day. So Mr. Customer, if we spend just $15, we'll, we will reach 1.3 to 3.8 thousand people a day is that pretty cool mr customer oh yes that's awesome mr customer compared to your competitor that's probably seen 200 times or maybe 50 times a day compared to you seeing 4,000 times a day who do you think will have a better success well for sure if i'm seeing 4,000 times a day i'll probably make so much money yes for sure mr customer and mr customer do you see here look how many link clicks you can get here with only spending 15 dollars we can get 40 link clicks to your website mr customer how many link clicks do you have a day right now probably around one or two. Oh, wow, Mr. Customer, with $15, we can get 40, 50 people coming to your website and not just random people, people that are interested in dogs and want to buy your toys. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So we show them all those things, all these metrics with reach and all that stuff. And then you can show past, past case studies. So for example, for real estate, I show here like, hey, Mr. Customer, can you see this over here? For sure, I can see that. So you can see here, let's just go to this month. You can see that we got this client 106 messenger conversations started and we only paid four dollars and four dollars and zero cents per per messaging conversation started is that pretty cool mr customer oh yes that's very cool is this something you can work with yes i can so every time i'm asking them is this something you can do is this something that can work is this something that you think will work for you every time i'm trying to get the buy and i'm trying to get agreement with them so by the end when we the main thing about that is because we want to know that hey do they have any questions do they have any questions about the service so if if they do have any questions we can talk to them right away when we are talking to them on the meeting and show them like they, say for example they have questions about the reach we can show them that hey okay for example reach is blah blah, blah. this is what this is this is what this is so we're asking them questions and we're asking them, does this make sense? And all those things at the same time so that they know exactly what they're getting. I know this might be a little bit too much, but please rewind this, rewatch it. And if you follow this exact process, end of the meeting, all you gotta say is, Mr. Customer, this is exactly what I would build for you. If you did a good job, they'll say, awesome, this, this looks pretty cool. How much does it cost? And that's it. After they ask you how much does it cost, simply tell them like, hey, this is how much it costs. And let me show you exactly how to save. So when they ask you how much is it or whatever they ask you, how much is it? Oh, how much is your fee? Whatever they ask you, this is really, really important. You, when you say your price, please, please say it with confidence. Do not cover your mouth. Don't be all like scared to tell your price. Be confident you're about to change a business's life and you are collecting nothing in return for the value that you're about to provide them. So, and the other thing I want you to keep remember is when you do tell them price, I want you to tell it in a different way, which I'm about to show you right now. So remember I asked you about the goal, what they wanted to achieve. Keep that goal in mind and you're gonna say in the offer. You're gonna say something like this. So Mr. Customer, to do all this from the Facebook ads to the many chat bot that nurtures a lead that gives you qualified leads to your lead template like this where you get your name, email, phone number and you call these leads to close four to five listings per month so you can get to that goal, that goal of you taking care of your son our cost will only be $1,500 a month plus your ad spend. Shh. Do not say a word after you tell them the price. You tell them everything, you tell them the price, it's gonna be only, only $1,500 a month plus your ad spend. Not customer, 
it's going to be $1,500 a month. You see, you don't want to give them the energy that is expensive. You want to give them the energy that is, is cheap. It's simple. Let's do this. It's only $1,500. You want to give them a different kind of energy. Don't say, um, yeah, it's, it's $1,500. Like, don't cover your mouth. Don't like say it clearly. Because this is where you're going to... You're either going to get a yes or a no. If you did a good job of the presentation and you asked for the sale confidently, you will make that sale every time. So tell them, Mr. Customer, to do all this from the ad to the ad, ad sets, to making the ad sets to the, to the creative, to the quick funnels, to the landing pages and all this stuff, basically giving you a lead sheet so you, you can get more leads, you can get more listings and, and take care of your son or whatever the goal is. It's only $1,500 a month. We put that goal in there because we want to make sure that that 1500 seems nothing because we got so deep in the emotional level of exactly why they want to make that money that when we say $1,500, it doesn't seem much to them. And I went on a little bit of a rant in this video, but this is very important that you guys keep most of these notes in mind. Make sure that you're writing notes exactly of what I said, rewind this, take notes and use these exact techniques that I just showed you and you will 100% get a yes. So there you have it. Using this script and this demo presentation, your customer will know exactly what they're getting. They'll know the value that you provide and when you get to the end of the meeting, they will say yes to your service because they are clear on what they will be getting. So look, just like any other business, not all clients will say yes the first time. So you gotta know exactly how to handle objections. So you gotta know how you can take that no into a yes. And I will be releasing a video on Friday and in that video, I'm gonna be showing exactly how to handle objections, how to take that no into a yes. So make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on for that video when it drops on Friday. Like I promised in the beginning of the video, you can download the script that we just went through and the same script that I used to sign up seven figure clients down in the description below. So just click that link, download the script and use it for your own agency. So look, doing these demo presentations and doing these meetings takes commitment. So I want you to make a commitment right now. All I want you to do is comment commit below if you will commit to follow these rules that I've showed you and follow the script, follow the demo presentation that we use to close clients and take our agency from zero to six figures. And I will choose one winner from the comments and I'll give you a 30 minute consulting call completely for free. This is over $100, $150 value and I'm gonna walk you through. I, I, I'm actually gonna do your sales script for you. So your business, whatever your business is, I'll actually walk through on exactly the kind of script that you should use for your niche. So all you gotta do is comment below, commit. Thank you for watching guys. If you want to know exactly how to prepare for meetings, you can watch the video here or over here. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on social media marketing. I'll see you on the next one.